Hi everyone, welcome back to DeFi Daily. Today we have the fifth episode about the Curve Wars. And today I will talk about a new protocol. Yes, it's new because we didn't talk about it, but it's a protocol that has born at the beginning of December. It is a DAO with a bonding and staking mechanism, but what is really powerful by them is that they are not just trying to increase the value. It's not just about speculation. They are literally creating this DAO for the only reason to exercitate power into the DeFi industry. And this is pretty interesting if you think about it, because we have been talking about many times about DAOs. But what I was saying every time is, in the moment when you are trying to evaluate a certain kind of a protocol or DAO, what you have to understand is uh, this protocol is creating value and in which way is really creating value. And what I want to show you with this protocol, and more specifically, I'm talking about the reducted cartel, and they are calling themselves cartel for the only reason that they are literally building a cartel to control, at least this is their goal, to control the DeFi ecosystem. And they are trying to do it through the Cure Wars, but not only, because as I will show you, they are trying to build even another layer. And this layer could be really a breakthrough for the whole uh, DeFi industry. So stay tuned because this video is really important. If you are really craving to understand what's going on into this industry and what are the protocols that will change the DeFi ecosystem, I truly encourage you to see the whole series about uh, the Cure Wars. I will leave you also the link into the right corner here if you missed the uh, previous videos. So guys, we are ready to start. Just let me say that uh, all the contents in this channel just for educational purpose. My goal is really not to give you financial advice, but to give you the tools to better understand the market. Obviously, we can touch every kind of a uh, topic, but I truly hope to give you a better idea on what's going on into this industry. So let's start immediately. We have started talking about Curve and the reason why I want to show you this chart, one of the main reasons why many people are trying to uh, keep control into Curve is because it is a growing protocol. As you can see, the green uh, line here is representing the amount of revenues that the protocol Secure Finance is producing every day. And as you can see, this uh, amount is increasing day by day. If you're wondering why uh, in the last couple of days uh, there has been a so high amount of revenues is connected to the whole story about uh, uh, meme and abracadabra. Uh, because due to uh, the risk connected to meme, many people have started to swap uh, the token and the pairs with meme. And this obviously generated a higher amount amount of revenues for Cure. What is also interesting is to see that even if the amount of revenue is increasing, it's not the same for the fully diluted market cap because this blue line is representing the fully diluted market cap. So we can say the actually the price of Curve is not increasing as much as the uh, volume, the revenues are doing. In any case, I will share this link uh, with you so you will have the opportunity to check also more data because this site, uh, Token Terminal, is pretty interesting because it is giving you many different indicators about what's going on into the DeFi space and the metrics to evaluate each protocol. And I highly encourage you to have a look to it because it is pretty interesting. Another thing that I want to show you uh, before going to the reductive cartel is this discussion here. Into the curve governance, they are trying to discuss to acquire power into the uh, convex platform. Because if you remember correctly, in one of my previous videos, when we were talking about the curve wars, we said that um, at this moment, uh, the convex protocol is controlling around half of uh, the whole governance power into Curve. So that's a lot. So for this reason, on Curve, into the DAO Curve, they are talking about trying to buy some uh, CVX, so some token uh, from uh, Convex Finance, in order to acquire power. I want to show you another nice information is this table here that is showing you which DAO, so which protocol is controlling the higher amount of uh, a convex token. 
And as you can see, the main one right now is Frax, so the uh, stablecoin Frax and the whole protocol about Frax that is keep increasing uh, their holdings of uh, a CDX. After that, there is a Badger DAO and at the fourth place, there is a Reducted Cartel. That is the token that uh, I wanna talk about today. Reducted Cartel is this platform here and uh, you probably know it because uh, it is uh, a DAO. A DAO, when we mean with a DAO, is just uh, offering a bond and a stake feature, as you can see here. And um, what I love by Reducted Cartel is that they used the bonding and staking mechanism that is something that has been successful and attracted a lot of people and really has demonstrated to be able to uh, create traction between users and create a bigger treasury. But the, the whole goal, the whole aim of this uh, uh, protocol, it wasn't just uh, a bonding and staking in a mechanism in order just to, uh, let's say, create a treasury without no goal. In the moment when they created this protocol, the goal were pretty clear. They knew and they said, okay, guys, the cure wars are literally gaining a lot of importance into the whole DeFi ecosystem. What we can do is building a treasury in order to participate to this war and to exercise some kind of power. And this is exactly what they have done because the traction they were able to uh, generate is impressive. This is a, a dashboard that I will leave also the link so you will have the opportunity to check it by your own self. And as you can see, that's impressive. The amount of uh, traction and the treasury, how it has grown during uh, the time. This is a treasury and as you can see right now it is around uh, 60 million and something like that and the whole treasury is composed by OHM token or Olympus DAO token. Yes, also Olympus DAO. You have to think about that these protocols are not just for speculation. Yes, most of the DAOs uh, are just there to speculate, are creating in some cases, the best case, some kind of game. But there are some of them that are there just to create value to solve one of the most important problems of the DeFi ecosystem, that is about liquidity. And also Olympus DAO it has just released their own roadmap for uh, this year, and they are really trying to uh, create an economy and more use cases for uh, the OHM tokens. So also for this reason, even a, a reducted cartel is trying to collect some kind of power uh, from uh, the Olympus DAO because they want to have a role into this uh, uh, game. At the same time, the other tokens they are collected are a CRV, so the token of a Cure Finance and the token of a Convex Finance. As I show you also in one of my previous videos about uh, this uh, liquidity and cure wars, uh, there is another token that uh, has attracted the interest by uh, the reducted cartel. And I'm talking about uh, the uh, Tokemak platform. Tokemak is another platform that we will talk about uh, in the next couple of videos because uh, if from one side Curve is playing a central role right now, the reality is that uh, into the next future, other platforms are trying to developing uh, some kind of ways to go even beyond the way that the uh, curve is working. And one of them is Tokemak, not to say that probably is the main one. And uh, it has a, a way of working that is quite uh, not difficult, but not so easy to understand, at least at the first glance. So for this reason, I will do a full overview about uh, Chokemak, explaining to you also what is the role that this platform is playing into this industry. The reason why I'm talking about it, uh, um, mentioning into the discussion about uh, uh, the Reductive Cartel is because Reductive Cartel has just acquired a uh, watermark. Watermark is like uh, the same that we have seen with into my previous video that if you missed, I will leave also the link at the right corner here when we were talking about uh, Votium and uh, a Curve uh, Bribe. So it is a system where you can sell your vote if you are holding your uh, Tokemak uh, tokens, but you are not interested to vote. So to use them to exercise your vote. And what they have done, the reason why they have acquired this platform is because they are trying to go even beyond. 
As you can see, for example, from this tweet, they are saying, no, that's not an error. Reducted cartel has created the first truly decentralized and permissionless marketplace for bribes. So what does it mean? And the official statement is also here directly from uh, uh, the reducted cartel, and they are calling it the hidden uh, hand. And what does it mean? I will try to summarize this uh, article. I will leave also the uh, full uh, link into the description below so you can check it by your own self. What they are trying to do is building a marketplace where you can buy the vote, but not only, for example, a, a vertical marketplace, like for example, on Volsium, that is just for a convex. But the whole idea is to extend this kind of mechanism to any kind of protocol that wants to give a, a, this kind of opportunity. Could be a DOPEX, could be a Votemark, and so on. So all the protocols that are having some kind of a V a token, so some vesting escrow a token, can give the opportunity to the users that are holding this token, but they are not interested to uh, just use their voting power to sell it to protocols, to uh, users that on the other side are interested in it. What is nice and the reason why it is creating a great opportunity for the reducted cartel is because introducing this marketplace that is using the technology from the acquired platform of Watermark, they are receiving, they are earning through a fee of the 4% so it means that each transaction from a user that is selling uh, his own uh, vote to someone else, uh, for each transaction, the uh, rewards that are going to uh, the treasury, so to the platform, the reducted cartel, is uh, the 4%. But uh, they have been able to go even beyond because what they are doing is they are taking the uh, token, so the butterfly token, and they are dividing it into two main uh, uh, kind of tokens. The first one is just the governance token. So this governance token is useful for people that want to uh, have the power to vote, to, to direct uh, the vote of the tokens that are part of uh, the treasury. We have seen, for example, from here that uh, a reducted cartel is controlling uh, a lot of, for example, a uh, convex uh, token, curve tokens, and so on. It is called, to be precise, governance locked butterfly. So a, a GL a butterfly token that is representing the a possibility to participate to the governance and so to vote uh, for the power of the tokens that are part of the treasury. But what is, we can say, even genius, because in this way they are able to increase the uh, value, because from one side, if you want to exercise just this kind of power, you will convert your butterfly to the uh, governance locked token. On the other side, if you are not interested to have this kind of governance power, what you can do is instead of uh, holding the governance locked token, you can hold the bribe locked token. And the uh, beauty of this token is that you will receive the uh, 2%, so the half of the revenues that are coming from the uh, bribe marketplace. Do you remember that a moment ago we have said that the reducted cartel is building this kind of marketplace where different protocols can add the possibility to um, for users that are holding their tokens to sell their votes. And this is exactly the kind of revenues that people that are holding the bribe token, the bribe locked token will receive. Plus they will receive also all the yield farming that are coming from uh, the treasury because the treasury is generating some kind of yield. And this kind of yield will go to people that are uh, holding the bribe lock token. So in this way, they are really creating some kind of economy of scale because the reason is that if you are just interested to exercise some kind of power, you are not interested to the yield. You are interested to have some kind of influence inside the DeFi space. And in this way, yes, you are leaving the yield, but on the other side, you are having much more power because at the cost of, for example, one CRV, you will have control on two CRV. And if you are wondering why, is that it's pretty simple. Because in this moment, there were just the token 
butterfly. So if you were holding just one butterfly, you would have control into the amount of CRV controlled by uh, the DAO divided by uh, 100, and you were controlling just one. Right now, you are not anymore controlling just one because the amount of people that are controlling the total amount of Cure token that are in, in the hands of the governance locked uh, holders is not anymore the total of the butterflies tokens, but it's just from the holders of the governance locked token. So it means that all the users that are not interested into controlling this kind of votes, but they are only interested in to earn some kind of yields, they will leave the control to the people that are interested in that. In exchange, they will receive the yield. So in this way, if you were holding just one a butterfly, you will keep holding it, but the amount of power that you can exercise into the treasury is much more higher. So in this way, all the players into this game are happy. So this is a pretty interesting uh, way to increase uh, the power. So as you can understand, uh, we can learn two main things from this theory. First of all, not all the DAOs are equal. DAOs with a bonding and staking mechanism is not something bad. It really depends how you will use your treasury. Because if the project has some kind of roadmap, some kind of ideas in order to use the treasury into a good way, that could be the most powerful things that we have ever seen. And what is doing Reductive Cartel is great. On the other hand, what we can understand is that uh, the war inside the curve, but not only because we have been talking about uh, uh, Tokemak and other platforms will come and we will talk about them in one of my uh, next uh, uh, videos. It is becoming pretty much important to control liquidity and to control the incentives. And the whole uh, war about controlling the voting power, it would be much interesting because on the other side, it will create for users that are not interested on holding that kind of power to just increase their yield. And so you will have, for example, in this case, the opportunity to hold the bribe block token and increase exponentially the amount of yield that you can generate from your tokens. Guys, that's all for today. I truly hope that this video is helping you to better understand what's going on into this industry because that's a pretty hot topic that many people are talking about. Let me know if you have any question. I'm here to uh, listen from your doubts and uh, talk about it. And I will see you uh, soon with another video. And remember, if you like this kind of content, the best way to sustain is always leaving a big thumbs up and drop a comment. Guys, I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye, guys.